Hi guys, it's Belle here and I've just popped on to share with you my December daily and my preparation for it. So if you don't know what a December daily is, just like an October daily, it is a journal that you um, keep for the whole of December. Some people do something every day to document December. Some people um, I know just do memories occasionally when they have some. I try and do something every day. This is my third year of keeping a December daily, but this is actually my first year of making my own December daily journal. So this is also my first time of making um, a little golden book journal and my first time <laughs> of doing a button spine. I love buttons. I love the look of them. I love the feel of them. And I have a huge collection. So I got to use some of my favourite buttons on my own journal. And this is the great thing. Normally when you make journals, you're putting lots of beautiful, yummy things in it. And you're giving it away or you're um, selling it. And when it comes to making... <coughs> excuse me. When it comes to making one for yourself... Sometimes those things you hoard and stash that you think, oh, so beautiful. You can, I've actually just gone, do you know what? I'm just going to put it in a journal. It's for myself. It doesn't matter. It's not perfect. Let's do it. So I chose Christmas in the Country um, as my little golden book journal because, just because I love the mix of colours and the vintage look. It's got, um, I've put silver book corners on it, put some lace down the side. Let's open it up just put 2020 there and a little holly and there's a little embellishment here with some beads and a little tim oh my gosh a little tim holtz charm that says jingle on there so this is what's classed as a naked journal because there's absolutely no decoration in it because obviously i'm going to be decorating it has three signatures and I've used in signature one and two the book pages and I've put them in order so I can read the story if I want. Um, there's a little pocket here. I've already started adding a list of the Christmas themed books I'm reading this year um, or have read already. Little pocket there. That will be my dedication pocket. And literally this is ju just book pages, scrapbook paper. It doesn't even matter if it looks like this because it's getting covered. Every page in here will probably end up covered except for the book cages. And I've put some fabric tabs, some of my favourite papers, um, some music paper, lined paper, some ruffles. I just love the fact this has got blues, greens, yellows, pinks. It, it gave me. Um, there's lots of bits in here as well. Last year I did um, a Christmas Happy Mail with the lovely Dolly um, over on Gypsy Rose Papery. And she sent me so many beautiful things. Um, so I decided to use some in here. And that's one of the doilies. This was from Dolly as well. And I've just put that in the middle. But yeah, you don't want to put anything too extravagant or beautiful in here. Because it will get covered. Um, and if any of you have watched my October Daily video... You will know how much I can sometimes decorate a page. Um, so, yeah, just a really quick flip through. Some silver trim. As I said, all the book pages are actually in order so I can read the story if I want to. Sorry if I'm going a bit fast, but literally it's just lots of scrapbook paper and stuff so just using up lots of scraps this was from dolly as well um and that was from dolly and the great thing about these journals if you want to make your own you still have plenty of time because this can literally take an hour to put together the hardest part is um actually finding the papers that you want to put in and um sewing the buttons on it doesn't take that long but you know it adds a few minutes to the actual binding <clears throat> oh i've got a frog in my throat i have no idea how and yeah it can literally take you an hour 
and maybe add half an hour onto that for finding all the pages that you want, trimming them, and if you stitch around, but you don't have to. I've literally only stitched the front um, pages of the signatures and the trims. This was from Dolly and I love it because it is actually, it has these little photo bits that you can put a photo in it and that will be brilliant in my final signature as we get nearer to Yule and Christmas. <laughs> the little animals all wrapping their parcels <laughs> and the little Dalmatian in his little jumper that's being knitted. It's so cute. Um, that was from Dolly too. I don't know if I said that. Um, so yeah, these are really quick to put together. This is my first little golden book. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I have a couple of others to play with. So you may see some golden book journals in my shop next year. Just a couple. It's not kind of my style, but I'm enjoying them. This was from Dolly too. I've just stitched around it and stuck on the back. And then this was Christmas pad from Dolly. And I've backed it onto card and I will be keeping a track of all the movies and Christmas shows that I've watched this year. So that is my little golden book, December Daily. I've given myself plenty of space to grow and it probably still won't be enough. <laughs> so, and then I just quickly put together some ephemera. This was from Dolly as well and I absolutely love that set. Look at it. Um, some large journaling cards, just using up the scraps, back them on tea stain card and stitched around. This was a sack um, that I received um, last year, I think. Anyway, it was all ripped at the back because it's just been in my stash, so I just stitched around it. That will go perfect in my journal. Made some little pockets to put things in. Made a belly band. Um, made little tags love little fabric embellishments so i made several of those uh, made some more pockets i will leave in the description box down below i did a naked journal last year for a swap and we had to make embellishments it's my own fabric flip using some paper um this lace i absolutely love so i decided to treat myself to it in my journal um, yeah, the naked journal that I made, I had to make a lot of ephemera for. So if you haven't seen that video, I will leave that down below. But it's so simple to just go through your stash, make some basic ephemera. You don't want to over decorate anything yet. This is ephemera that I had in my stash that I haven't made. Um, this is very special because, um, yeah, this was something that was gifted to me by a dear friend who is now no longer with us. Anyway, these are some snippet trims. I love making snippet trims because you can use up your snippets. And I've made a whole, almost Constantina. I've made about, um, stitched them all. I've made about 30 or 40 snippets. So if I need any more. Um, and again, I've made some large tags, collaged them again backed there's no point decorating them yet because i don't know what page i'm going to use them on and obviously if i, I use a lot of photos so they can have photos and decorating on so it's really simple within a day you can put together prep um some basic bits and a journal um and i'm just going to pause this because i'm going to show you some the rest of my prep so I really hope you can see this. This is just a basket that I've got, a little basket. And I've gone through my Christmas stash. I have a huge Christmas stash, twice as much as my um, Halloween stash, because it's easier to get Christmas bits. And in here, I've just pulled out a selection of stickers, um, die cuts. Um, I've got my Christmas die cut pack. That's got lots that I've already got made in it. I've got some embossing folders. I've got a lovely little wooden embellishment, so I've pulled those out. These little envelopes are just filled with random bits, some more tags, some bags, some um, hand-stamped pieces. I've got, this was actually my little um, box from last year that I made for myself for my December daily. And I've just topped it up with some goodies. Um, 
and yeah we've just got some ephemera kits and bits in here and lots of stickers and some ribbon so i've got that basket beside me as well and just let me pause the video again okay so i'm back oh as if by magic so this is a bit jumpy i have made my own december daily prompts so because december daily is normally memories you can get lots of prompts and i just got inspired i looked around on pinterest um, I know Dolly at Gypsy Rose Paper E did a December Daily last year with some prompts. Um, just looked around, had to think about what I might want and created my own prompt list. Nothing overtly exciting. I'll just quickly run through them. I was also inspired by Christmas songs this year. So lots of my prompts are a Christmas song. And I just literally put this together. So on the first day of Christmas, which is obviously going to be the first day of my December daily and that could be anything I want it to be it can be what I'm wearing what I'm doing what the weather's like number two deck the halls now we normally put our decorations up actually on the first but I'm going to take pictures in the December daily on the second because deck the halls three it's mail time so basically time to get some happy mail out or to make some cards and um, journal about that Number four, these are a few of my favourite things. Not necessarily a Christmas song, but I did a poem in my October daily last year where I did, these are a few of my favourite things of Halloween. I thought I'd do a similar thing and do a poem about my favourite Christmas things. Number five, rocking around the Christmas tree. So basically just writing about my favourite Christmas music. Number six, red and green. Well, that could be anything on a page. Number seven, do you want to build a snowman? Ha, we all know what song, what um, song movie that song's from i'm basically going to build a snowman on one of my pages number eight grab the popcorn so that's obviously going to be about christmas movies um day nine the weather outside is so take a picture or write about the weather outside day 10 pastel christmas love pastel christmas and this journal's going to work perfectly Number 11, get your sweater on. So this could be an ugly sweater page, favourite sweater page, sweater competition page, design your own sweater, whatever. I'm just going to see how I feel on that day. Day 12, all I want for Christmas is, and that's going to be just a list of what I might like uh, in the form of a letter to Santa. Number 13, I'll be gnome for Christmas. I love gnomes. Um... And have quite a collection and special ones that come out Christmas. So I'll just do a page about them. Day 14, last Christmas. And that's going to be, um, I've decided that'll be about a childhood Christmas memory. Um, day 15, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Fill a page with snowflakes. Day 16, handmade with love. Make some Christmas decorations. Day 17, jingle bells. A new favourite Christmas ornament because last year in my December daily I actually did a favourite Christmas ornament so this year I wanted to write about a new one rather than one you know an old one that I've got. Day 18 you're a mean one Mr Grinch do I need to explain just do a Grinchy page. Day 19 Christmas lights so in this one I actually think I'm gonna you know when we do a drive around because obviously Covid's still around lockdown might be lifted hopefully by Christmas fingers crossed um but i'm not getting out so um i'll just drive around look at christmas lights day 20 make a christmas tag nice and simple why something crafty getting very near a very busy time for us and i will be very busy busy that day because day 21 is yuletide blessings and as we celebrate you in this household um it's almost as big as christmas i will be busy on yuletide eve so making a christmas tag is nice and simple Day 22, traditions. So just write about my traditions in my family, uh, my, you know, Christmas holiday traditions. Day 23, now bring us some figgy pudding. So that's going to be about Christmas baking. Day 24, Santa Claus is coming to town because it's Christmas Eve. So obviously journal about Christmas Eve. Day 25, Noddy Holder singing 
It's Christmas. I can't do his voice, but you can imagine it. Any of you who know that song, you can just hear him saying it. And obviously it's Christmas Day. So journal about your Christmas Day. Day 26, Boxing Day here in the UK. Journal about Boxing Day. We normally have um, family over for Boxing Day. I don't know if it's going to happen this year, but we'll see. Day 27, it's a wrap reuse that wrapping paper gift tags whatever ribbons that you got on your prezzies on a page day 28 baby it's cold outside get cozy with a hot chocolate day 29 happy holidays to write about traditions around the world so holiday traditions i thought that'd be quite good to do especially as christmas is kind of over and look at other things day 30 which is new year's eve eve 12 days of Christmas, write about which one is my favourite. I don't even know yet, so let's find out. And day 31 is obviously, it could only be the song Old Lang Sang. I basically write about my New Year hopes and write my letter. Now, I do a letter every year since I've been doing a December daily where I just write about what I hope the next year is um, going to be. And normally on that day, I will read the letter from the year before, before writing my new one. And I'm pretty sure that what I put in this letter is not really going to have happened thanks to COVID. But anyway, they are the prompts I made for myself. I'll pause it if you want to take a picture. Just give you some inspiration. Um, yeah, so they're my December daily prompts. Now... Talking about December dailies, obviously um, I have made a little um, golden book journal this year, but you don't have to do a huge December daily. So um, I will leave the links to my December daily from last year down below. This was the December daily from last year. Um, this I received in a swap. It's a large journal. I think it's the usual nine by six, whereas my little golden book, I think is only eight by six. It got super chunky and it has lots of bells and things and it's very, very full. So that was the one I made last year and I've got a flip through on here. But again, if this is your first year doing a December daily, you don't have to do a large journal. My first ever December daily was in, hold on, I'm just going to move you a little bit. So sorry if it makes you a little bit seasick. Um, my first ever December daily was actually in a traveller's notebook. So this is my 2018 December daily. It's still got very chunky because it's me. Um, I actually brought this one and, you know, it was slightly decorated, but I went to town. And thankfully it kind of had this on it, although I added the little deer. So, yeah, if it's your first time doing a December daily, don't feel the need to do like a large journal if it seems intimidating don't get too um stressed about the prompts obviously it's covid and i don't know where you guys are in the world but i am not going to be able to do what i normally do in december and i am certainly even when lockdown lifts not going to go out too much because we've been so near christmas and we've been in lockdown for a month since november i'm guessing anywhere is going to be packed with crazy people <laughs> trying to get last minute Christmas thankfully I, I sort of thought this was coming and got prepped before November and by the start of November so I don't have to really go out but anyway like I said don't go too crazy find some fun prompts just write about your favorite movies write about your favorite song write about your favorite memory use up any christmas stickers stash craft items stamps pictures that you've got um and you can do it in a small journal a larger journal or a medium-sized journal or even one smaller than this if it's your first time doing one because i i you know i hear a lot that people get a bit intimidated they've got nothing to write about they, they don't know if they've got the time to do a full page spread um they they don't know if they've got time to be too detailed especially in the christmas period because it's such a busy time for most of us no matter what we celebrate or whether we celebrate christmas or not this is normally a hectic time for everyone um so as i said 
this is my prep video i hope i've given you some ideas i hope i've given you some inspiration um and let me know what you think down below are you going to be doing a december daily this year um and if so in what size journal or have you made your journal or what are you looking forward to most this december <laughs> i'm just looking forward to lockdown being lifted again um and yeah let me know what you think down below and i will leave it there um and i will be back again soon but until then bye everyone